Hello everyone, welcome to Analog IAS. In this video, we will be discussing about the independence of Supreme Court in India. Supreme Court of India has been assigned a very important constitutional position in the constitution of India as it is a federal court and it is also the highest court of appeal and also the guarantor of the fundamental rights of citizen and as well as the guardian of the constitution. In this light, the independence of Supreme Court plays a very important role so that they can deliver justice in a proper manner. Some of the provisions of the constitution which help in maintaining the independence of the Supreme Court are mode of appointment that is the judges of the Supreme Court are appointed by the president only in consultation with the judiciary itself therefore this removes any interference from the executive. The second point is the security of tenure that is they can be removed from the office by the president only in the manner present in the constitution and the removal process for this uh, judge of supreme court is very tedious and the process is so tedious that so far no judge has been impeached in the history of the Indian constitution. The salaries and expenses of the judges of the supreme court and the administrative expenses are charged on the consolidated fund of India. That is, as we know through the budget document, there are two types of charges. One is the charge on consolidated fund of India and the charges made from the consolidated fund of India. For the charges which are charged on the consolidated fund of India, they are non-votable by the parliament every year in the budget speech. Therefore, this ensures that the salaries of the judges of Supreme Court are not influenced by the parliament. The fourth point is the conduct of judges that cannot be discussed. Article 121 of the Supreme Court of the Indian Constitution sorry, speaks about this provision where the discussion in the parliament or in the state legislature cannot be happen regarding the conduct of the judges or any of the judgments made by these judges in Supreme Court except when the removal impeachment motion of the judges is in, carried out in the parliament. Ban on the practice after retirement. The retired judges of the Supreme Court are prohibited from pleading or acting in any court or before any authority within the territory of India. And the next point is the jurisdiction cannot be curtailed. That is, Parliament has no right to curtail the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Rather, they can make a law to increase the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court as has been done to the land boundary agreement which was carried out with Bangladesh through the 100th Constitutional Amendment Act. Now the last point is the separation from the executive. Article 50 of the Indian constitution that is DPSP speaks about the separation of the executive from the judiciary in public related matters. Therefore this provision has been enforced through the criminal procedure code of 1973. Now let us solve this question. Consider the following statements. Judges of the Supreme Court cannot become member of the parliament after they demit their office. The majority required for the removal motion of the judge of Supreme Court in Parliament is simple majority. The correct answer is D. None. As if you, if you have been following the news recently, the ex-Chief Justice of India, Mr. Ranjan Gogoi, has been nominated as a member of Rajya Sabha. Therefore, the first provision is wrong. And as such, there is no provision explicitly mentioned in the constitution regarding their membership in the Parliament. The second statement is also wrong because the majority required is the special majority and not simple majority. Therefore, the correct answer is D none. Thank you.